One, two, three, four. <laughs> Take a ride. Come take a ride. It's the weirdest guy. No, it's Wednesday night. It's Wednesday night. And now you need to go to Chris Gethard's show. Chris Gethard's show. Chris Gethard's show. Chris Gethard's show. show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Chris Gethard show. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. That's some hip hop air sirens it's from the studio audience tonight. That's awesome. <laughs> Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. I'm Chris Gethard, your host. This is our 10th episode. We're very excited about that milestone. The ship has held together for two and a half months now. Okay, thank you. Uh, we want to say hello to everybody watching live on MNN4 here in Manhattan, as well as everybody uh, at the Chris Gethard Show.com and our Ustream site. If you're watching, please let people know it's out there via Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. We have a very great show for you guys tonight. We got MC Chris coming out later as our musical guest. Should be awesome. We have some people with us joining us. Uh, Shannon O'Neill, you've done most of our shows now, right? Seven of ten, eight of ten, eight something eight like that. Ten. Yeah. All right, George, uh, George Cameron returning. That's right. Uh, it's awesome. With us for the first time from College Humor, Mr. Patrick Castles. Thank you for being here. <laughs> now, Pat, you said when we were setting up, you said public access seems like. It's. I said it was like a. Of fulfilling a dream I never knew I had. Yeah, that is one way to put it. That is certainly one way to put it. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with the show, but we have some other people here with us. Random Gene, as always. Um, now, if you don't know, this is legit. This is real. Random Gene called up during our second show and was like, why are you doing this? Did not like the show. And we said, you should come down to the studio. And, that, and then I said, just come back anytime you want. And you just keep coming back, it's Gene. It's fun, actually. All right. That's so you're starting fun, to enjoy yeah. the show. Yeah, did, you, did you answer a question as to why you're doing the show? <laughs> we have never answered that question, <laughs> either verbally or through action. We have yet to answer no, that I question. Mean, back then, I didn't even know who you were. And I didn't even. <laughs> I honestly fair. didn't know who he was. And, That's fair. And um, the other thing is, they, most public action shows have a theme. So they're just all sitting here taking calls. I just didn't get it. What's your theme? <laughs> Our theme is a bunch of people sitting here. <laughs> I also want to introduce you to the breakout star of the show. Uh, he's recently emerged from the sea. We, we are learning slowly but surely more things about him. All we know is that he's trying to figure out this world of men. Let's please everybody welcome the one, the only, the human fish. What's he thinking? So mysterious. Human fish. This theme song very accurate. Human fish for the first time in Catherine Show history, wearing a shirt, ladies and gentlemen. I can only assume it's because of the degrading pantsing that he uh, under underwent last week at the merciless hands of the Ouroboros B-Boy crew. <laughs> human fish wearing more clothes. Uh, now, what we do know about the human fish is this: he's trying to figure out our world. You can always ask him what's on his mind, and he'll let you know what he's struggling with internally, like this. Human fish, what's on your mind right now? Boom, boom, pow. <laughs> versus cha-cha-cha. <laughs> boom, boom, pow. Versus cha-cha-cha. Who wins? Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> All right. So at any point, you can... <laughs> yeah, what's up, Shannon? I'm confused by his shirt. Ho, 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 burp. <laughs> Christmas, we may have just learned that the human fish is Christian. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we may have just learned that. Just, yeah, it's very curious where he would where he would get that shirt. It's, it's pretty looks pretty clean. It is. It's like very white, so it's not like a But he's been on land for a while now, That's so he true. might have picked it up at a thrift store or something. Yeah. And I always want to thank the LLC for bringing us in tonight. All your music throughout the show. You guys are the best. And uh, yes. I want you guys to call in, give us a call, let us know you're out there. If the number's not on your screen right now, it will be very soon. And we have a call-in topic tonight. Uh, I, I wanted to, I wanted to um, pose this for you guys. I can't get a good night's sleep lately for a variety of reasons. This morning, I woke up, a fly was in my room, and it landed on my head. The way I woke up this morning was slapping myself across the face in my sleep to get a fly off me. 
and made me think, I hate being tired, I start acting crazy. So I want to hear from calls from people. If you're an insomniac, I want to know what that's like. If you've ever stayed awake so long that you've lost your mind, I want to know what that's like. If you're a sleepwalker, don't call us up and tell us about your dreams, though. That's boring, hearing about other people's dreams. Isn't 100% of your audience, by definition, insomniacs? Yeah, I think most people watching this show are probably people who sit up at night wondering why their lives are the way they are. That's probably true. But I know, like, for me, we went on a road trip. Shannon and I were there. A bunch of the LLC were there. And I didn't sleep for the first 48 hours. And one of my eyes turned off. That's true. There was one point where I blinked. And when my eyes opened up again, my right eye was still seeing. And my left eye was just black. For how long? For, like, 10 seconds. But I was quietly, I was like surrounded by people and I was quietly sitting there and I, I had enough time to go like, what do I do if my eye never turns back on? <laughs> like it was long enough for me to think that. I would think seizure immediately. Yeah, or stroke. Or stroke, yeah. Yeah. Have any of you guys ever stayed awake too long and had something awful happen? Not awful, I was just like going crazy. Like in college, staying up to do like finals and stuff and yeah. it being like hour 36 and I'm just like downing like, like black iced tea, like yeah. sugar iced tea, but making it like black. It does feel and like just you're going nuts. Yeah. I once stayed awake so long that I was in physical pain, but then was like, I'm in so much pain, but I'm never gonna die. I convinced my, it was weird. I convinced myself I was immortal. This common topic might just be me showing that I'm a little crazy. That could be it. I got paid to be an insomniac once. Really? Yeah, it, it was during a Columbia University, um, you know, sleep study because I was so desperate for money. They gave me a couple hundred. So you've done medical studies for? Yeah, like live in a clinic. Random genes. <laughs> Everything I learn about you is crazy. It was for a week. It was for a couple days. It was like they pay what do they do? They just observe you. Yeah, they just observe you. Like you have to stay awake. How do they keep you awake? Do they like, poke you with a stick? No, you just ask for like five-hour energy pills or like you know. I don't want to correct you, but I don't think they paid you to be an insomniac. They paid you just to stay awake. Yeah, basically. What happened? Did anything yeah. weird happen? Um, no, I was after, like, I think maybe after, like, the 58th or 59th hour, I was kind of going insane. She woke, she woke up and she was here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you joined the show. So let's see, do we have any callers on the line yet? Caller, you're on the Chris Gethard Show. Welcome. How can we help you tonight? Hello? Who's oh. this? Who is this? Yeah, you're on the air. Hi, my name is Christy. What's up? Hi, is this Christy from Long Island? Yes, it is. Okay, so last time you called the show, you had nothing to say. <laughs> so I want to know what's on your mind tonight. Okay, well, you said that you couldn't sleep because there was like a fly bothering you, right? And I slapped myself in the face trying to get it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's like a fly or something or in your like house or whatever, if you take hairspray and you spray it with hairspray, its wings get stuck together and it can't fly, and then it's like walking and it slows it down, and then you could kill it. And it like you just, you're just telling us how to torture insects yes. right now. <laughs> if anyone has sub calling topic, if anyone else has creative ways to kill flies, <laughs> please let us know. Well, I, 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 I'm like I don't sleep. I fall asleep usually at like four o'clock in the morning and wake up at one. And like I'm tired throughout the day, but that wasn't a good enough story. So I figured, why not help you out and tell you how to kill a fly? No, that's good. Yeah, I would have gone with that one too. I would have gone with that one too. Thanks Wait, does it die or does it just have to live its life flightlessly? <laughs> um. Well, I saw something about like drown in hairspray, so it's flat, so it, did, it does die, and I feel bad. But if you like spray, it'll slow it down, and it'll. Um, it'll like start walking <laughs> and then you can throw it outside and then I think, I don't know if its wings get like unstuck, but yeah. <laughs> How do you how do you kill people? Yeah. I was gonna ask you where you've been hiding the bodies. Yeah. Are you the Christy, I wanna thank you so much for the call. I hope other people give us a call. Thank you for the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So glad you gave us a call. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we recovered. <laughs> we forgot that it was on LLC, but we nailed it on the comeback. Uh, we have another caller on the line. Caller, welcome to the Chris Gethard Hello? Show. On the air. Who's, yes, who's this? Wait, hold on a sec. Okay, is it, hi. Is this the same girl? <laughs> Who is this? This got awkward. <laughs> you got an awkward call, so you got the awkward song and dance. Who is this? Well, you are on the air. She right. put you on hold. Peace out. Yeah, she yeah. Said, hold on. Suck it. Hold on a second. Hold on she said, hold on she a found second. something better to do right at that moment. <laughs> so we should introduce our game for the night, I think. Yes? Let's introduce our game. This is one. I don't know how it's going to go. I might get hurt. It will also be degrading. Let's get Drew up here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
There's a pile of uh, trinkets, tchotchkes, doodads on the floor right there. Wanted to let you know tonight we will be playing a game called the Human Claw. I will emulate the arcade game. We have the claws. Ladies and gentlemen, the Human Claw. Scale crane is an ale crane. Punky, punky. What? Get third is a human crane. Scale crane is an ale crane. Punky, punky. I'm 31 years old. <laughs> People are shouting, Gethard is a human crane. So here's how this works. We need an audience volunteer, someone from here. Do you want to come up on stage and help us out? Anybody? Okay. Matt Mayer, it looks like you. So Matt, why don't you sit right there? So here's how this is going to work. There's a whole pile of items here. You can see there's autographed headshots from the human fish, Shannon, George, there's a dollar, there's some flip-flops, Bosco strawberry syrup, a toilet brush, some tennis balls, all sorts of stuff. Feel free to root around, see what you might like. I'm going to blindfold myself. Drew and George are going to hang me upside down. You're going to direct them like you would a, 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 a crane. Okay. So a little forward, a little right, a right. little more forward. When you say drop, they're going to lower me down. I'm going to try to grab the item you're going for with my teeth, blindfold. <laughs> if I get it, it's yours. Oh, you, right there, you're looking at the Spanish language, beware of dog sign. Set up whatever you want to go for. Let's be quick about it. He's having a hard time choosing because it's a pile of shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Matt, whatever, whatever you're going for, I'm not going to get it anyway, so just leave something up the top. Okay, so here's what we're going to oh, do. Oh, boy, he's already Oops, dead. I already broke the set. So let's do it. So, boys, and audience, if we could clear out some room so the camera can see it. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, let me get the... Okay, Matt, go. All right, uh, left, left, left. Okay, you got some bedazzled flip flops. That's what you got. Congratulations. Thank you for playing. And we'll do more of that later. But let me ask, were yeah. you, you guys losing your grip on him and you could not keep him up, or were you lowering him down? We were, we were trying to lower him down. down. And then it was tough to get him it back It was up. tough to get him but up. But he yeah. hadn't said drop yet. You guys just oh, mashed my face onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it felt involuntary from my end. I will say, Drew, I don't know about you, but the longer we're holding you, the more likely is we will drop we, you. We will drop you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, very fair For statement. future contestants. Yes, I, I do want to say, for future rounds, <laughs> Please don't break my neck. <laughs> Please don't break my neck. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest with us right now. People who have been following the show know that one of our contributors has recently announced that he's going to run for president of the United States. He's here joining us once again. I want to welcome everybody. Let's have a round of applause. Presidential candidate, Connor Rabbit. Connor's running for president. So, Connor, thank you for joining us again. in an exciting time in presidential politics. As you know, anyone who follows the campaigns for the presidency, they are filled with distractions. But we are running a focused campaign. Use your mic, Connor. Yes? Mike. Mike. Oh. <laughs> we are running a focused campaign. <laughs> my name is Connor Rattler. I'm running for the presidency. And if you know anything about my campaign, you know that it's focused and it's disciplined. And our latest campaign ad demonstrates that. When the Founding Fathers wrote the United States Constitution, they specifically said that the President had to be at least 35 years old. That's the number they chose, 35. That's my age. That's how old I am. There it is, right there in the Constitution. And you're telling me we're going to elect some 50-year-old? Or a 60-year-old? What an insult to our Founding Fathers. That wasn't the America they dreamed of. My name is Connor Ratliff, and I'm 35 years old. That's old enough to be president. Paid for by Citizens for a 35-year-old president. 35! That's how old I am! 35! That's how old I am! 35! That's how old I am! I won't lie, that could have gone better. <laughs> that could have gone better, but it doesn't matter because we're winning. We Stay away from the microphone? No, no, that was my fault. I'm sorry. I apologize to you. 
Connor, I would say this is the first major gaffe of your campaign. <laughs> this feels like the first major snafu. Let's Let's get out of the way honest, early, you know? We had yeah. Michelle Bachman's husband is directing from the control room. Wow. That was a poor staffing choice on my part. Yeah. yeah. I think he's got a split agenda. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The, the good news is we're winning this. I don't know if you're following the coverage, but thousands of people on the internet have given their support to this campaign. From thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions. That's where we're going. We are going to win this. Connor Ratliff for president. I am 35 years old. Thank you very much. Connor's running for president. Hooray! I think he's got a shot. Yeah. All right. Are you officially endorsing him? I'll, I'll vote for Connor. Who else am I going to vote for? <laughs> right? I'm going to use the first installment of my trust fund to get Carl Rove to be his campaign manager. Wow. Random Gene's got a trust fund! <laughs> trust fund Gene! Trust fund Gene! You're, you're no. Trust fund Gene might be... Now that you're less random, we might have to start calling you trust fund Gene. You're a trust No, uh, well, I, my trust fund is in seven figures, I'll tell you that much. You immediately Mine is regret also, letting us know that. It's $23.36 and a half cents. Wow. I didn't do that right. Okay. I don't know if Carl Rove will work I, before, I did not even know trust... I thought that was like something they just made up for soap opera. No, stuff. that's not just from my like, 80s movies. Yeah, yeah, Apparently, exactly. Random Gene is a living example. We should get back to the phones, maybe. Caller, you are on the air. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. How can we help you? Hi, this is Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa, how's it going? Hey, Alyssa. Checking in with Alyssa. Checking in with Alyssa. Alyssa, what's up? So Alyssa's 15. She's a, a, a comedy super nerd. She likes to call in. She lets us know what's on her mind. Ask question about comedy. Tells us what it's like to be 15 in 2011. So, uh, Alyssa, what did you want to talk about tonight? Oh, I have been having trouble sleeping as well. Okay. I think it's the apocalypse because I can't sleep at all. You think you're that is one of the signs of the apocalypse? <laughs> insomnia. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The feeling is not being able to fall asleep. Okay. Have you tried masturbating? <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Shannon O'Neill. Shannon, you continuously say wildly inappropriate things to this girl, and I am not kidding. Look at me. Look at me. It has to stop. You can't keep doing that. She's 15. I have emailed with her mother and said, like, well, this will be appropriate. This will be, like, a good thing. And it is not a good thing. Alyssa, how is Disney World? Thanks, Gene, for putting it back on track. <laughs> How was Disney World? Oh, it was really nice. Oh, cool. It was fun. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, so, Alyssa, anything else on your mind? Um. I am so sorry. It's fine. It's, I'll, I'll be fine. Oh. Whoa. Oh. No one says that if they're actually fine. No, yeah, that is a life lesson you will learn in future years. Is the phrase "I'll be fine" is completely transparent. I'll be fine is the title of a Lifetime original movie. <laughs> oh. You're the worst. I You're hope, so proud of yourself. I hope I get to Don't. star as Alyssa in that life. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what I hope. Oh. Shannon O'Neill is the. You are just the worst. I, She's 15. You see 15 as young. I see 15 as a teenager. You don't, at, oh my God. you don't ask people shit like that, man. You wouldn't ask someone our age that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I phrased as a question. I should have oh. <laughs> no. So, Alyssa, if there's anything else on your mind, uh, we'd love to hear it. If not, we're going to get going. Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> Thank you so much for the call. We got to talk for real. Human Fish, what's on your mind? Uh, inappropriate behavior <laughs> versus uh, men behaving badly starring Rob Schneider. <laughs> okay, inappropriate behavior in general versus men behaving badly starring Rob Schneider. Who wins? Men behaving badly starring Rob Schneider. Wow. Maybe you should learn from that with your inappropriate Have behavior. you ever seen men behaving badly? I have not. Not even they one time. They behave pretty bad. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're very excited right now. Our musical guest is an old friend of mine. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of him. Brings the motherfucking ruckus every day of the week. Let's get up on our feet. Let's dance. Let's give a warm welcome to the one, the only, MC Chris. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Oh, is this on? Check, check, one, two, one, two. Microphone. What is this? The five oh, shit. Check, check. 
Yeah, it works. It's just that my ears are broken. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, that's the on switch. <laughs> hey, you guys notice how Angry Birds Rio is uh, way better than Rio? All right. Thank you for having me tonight. My name is MC Chris. <laughs> Um, yo, I was walking down the street the other day. I was wearing my Black Ops t-shirt, and there's a black guy, and he saw me. He's like, yo, Black Ops. I was like, yes. Uh, I think those are all my jokes. I'm going to do a rap song now. Hit it. I need more microphone sounds. Got the jam. make you go to work. Work, work. I got the jam, the jam to make you go to work, work. You can turn on my monitor a little bit. It's so hot, burn your mouth. Scar tissue make you go out. Cheese my cool and congeal. Slice in a Coke is a no joke meal. It's a quick bite that can be beat. It's a pie chart that you can eat. It's a non deal if you don't leave. Salt versus the calories with a pizza beat. No oregano bits in your pale little smile. Not even got a bread, no shot town side. Gonna spit your thread, you don't moderate. Yo, picking in your feet like it's Watergate. You believe me, call the weird deal. It's a pizza begin. You act, speak, acting, but you cheat when you're in a bushel of pushing your divorce for delivery. Little legal, middle east, and little deal. Will the be skin now? You're the win now. Jam, that jam to make you go to work, 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 now work, that pizza boy. I got that jam, that jam to make you go to work, 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 now work, that pizza boy. I got that jam, that jam to make you go to work, 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 now work, that pizza boy. I got that jam, that jam to make you go to work, 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 now work. You need help, I'm that guy. All right, stop the track. Stop the track. <laughs> For some reason, I was distracted <laughs> while I was rapping, and I forgot what my rap words were. But I think I've collected myself. I'm going to do another song. Get up. <gasps> <laughs> we'll do the next song if that's all right, gentlemen in the booth. What's the matter with you? I understand that you got dance crazy, but right next to me? <laughs> Next song, please. Upon her frame, she's rocking cotton panties, so real, so it seems. He's stretching and so fetching, she's the cutie of my dreams. Who's the T to the two B's? Yes, I know her cup size. I'm exit my spy, that's why my vulgar bug bites. I'm a ninja, I'm a hoodie ninja. You're off guard, ninja stars, now you're injured. Tough luck, not just break your fingers. Got a bowl, cause I don't want to linger. I'm a ninja, I'm a hoodie ninja. You're off guard, ninja stars, now you're injured. Tough luck, not just break your fingers. Shirt, rocking up and dressing tight so tight that my head hurts. Stolen black slacks that are supposed to be for church. Stuff the cuffs into my truck, so I'm a ninja. Thanks to merch. I got no Kajanawa, that's a grappling apparatus. And bananas for my mama, her burritos are the baddest. Let's eat them in the shed where my father keeps his porn. Hey, now it's been the mission, it's no pigeon where it's born. Jimko to the Nazi always got me running laps. I know he doesn't like me, you should hear his funny laugh. I can put up with the push ups, and the car just got me cranky. So we're gonna drop a on a driver like I'm Banksy. Yo, you keep a lookout while I drive my fruit of looms and build myself a bit of skin model of Mount Doom. We hear the grazer motor, so we motor mad fast. Everybody do the twist. You ready? Come on. Do the twist. I'm a ninja. I'm a hoodie ninja. I'm a ninja. What's the matter with you? Do the twist. Don't be an asshole. I'm a hoodie ninja, you're off guard, ninja stars, now you're injured. 
trust with your fingers Got a bowl cause I don't wanna linger I'm a ninja, I'm a hoodie ninja You're off guard in the stars, now you're injured Tough luck, no trust with your fingers Got a bowl cause I don't wanna linger Thank you very much! Chris, thank you so much. You're gonna join us up here, right? Well, thank you for having me. Dude, thank Thanks you for over. doing it. Sorry that our fantastic dancer distracted you. Yeah, it's he distracted me while my eyes were closed. You figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you do have to admit though, Rob Malone is perhaps the greatest dancer. I yeah, I just saw Black Rob. Yeah, he's good. He's, he's good. one of the best. So thank you for coming here. You're about to drop you know what the next I, when album. When I see right? him dance, I say to myself, that's a beautiful <laughs> thing. But I know his parents were tough on him. Yeah. It wasn't worth it. Yeah. What were you saying? I was going to say you're dropping your new album very soon, right? Yes, I am dropping my new record uh, coming up. <laughs> I never say that I'm dropping my record unless I've literally dropped it. And I'm like, sir, could you help me out? I've obviously dropped my records everywhere. And he's like, I'm an old man. <laughs> Okay, so, so people can look forward to that. <laughs> so I'm dropping my new record on my birthday, September 2nd. It's called Race Wars. Chill out! It's not about the real race wars that are happening today. It's about a bunch of cars racing towards a bag of weed in the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a lot of fun. Chill out! It isn't! Let's see, what else can I tell you? Got some cool stuff happening. Got my two-month tour coming up this fall. It's the Race Wars Tour. Chill out! It's not about a bunch of races killing each other live. Although that sounds pretty good, and that could happen. So go check out my live show this fall, the Race Wars Tour. Get all those full dates at mcchris.com. Which camera should I look at? Come on, camera guys. Keep me informed. <laughs> uh, Massive technical problems for all you right, this show. All right, who's running this show? Gumby and Pokey? <laughs> that would be a good show, right, guy? All right, so... <laughs> we, I think we're... <laughs> Chris Gethard, listen, we're friends from back in the day. I can 11 just take, years ago, take over your show in three seconds and Do whatever get out. you want, yeah. And then I'm going to push her over and no, eat no, that no. fish. <laughs> I'm a tough with rap. Your I'm a tough You're rap. getting the you jerk off. Anger, you got a man, it's jerk face. Usually reserved for callers. And you know what's funny about it? Everybody in that band is they're my friends, so they know for real that I'm really a jerk. And so while they're singing that song, they're like, this has got a little bit too much truth in it. <laughs> right? LLC, which stands for Lost Lock Combo. Way to get that branding out there, guys. Okay. Third point. I got a brand new cartoon coming up, the MC Chris cartoon. It's going to be about the best thing ever made in the history of life. Yeah, yeah. I just got my fans to give me $63,000, so I'm going to go to Jamaica real quick and come back. <laughs> That's right, Nick in the audience. What's up, Nick? I recognize you. How you doing? Mets? Really? Toothpick? Yeah? Okay. So... Um, we gotta move on soon. At right. some point. Right, I gotta get out all my... All my um, what do you call them when you... Plugs. Plugs. I gotta get out all my plugs, just like that guy's got too many plugs, you know what I mean? In his hair, because he's bald. All right. So, uh, third announcement is... You just made it, the cartoon. My dad has cancer. Okay. <laughs> let's go ahead, get, let's get George and Drew back up here if we can. We're gonna play another round of uh, Human Crane. We need an audience volunteer. Anyone wanna play? Yes, Banana Man is gonna come up and play. Go right over there. And George, I couldn't help but notice, Chris sang a song called Hoodie Ninja. You have something that relates to that topic that you wanted to talk about tonight while we set this up, right? Yeah, well, um, I have a, a little beef going uh, with actor Jet Li. Um, I could just uh, take a moment. A lot of people ask me why I dislike Jet Li. Well, it's simple. Because you're a bad friend, Jet. Okay? And I know you're watching, so listen up. All right? <laughs> We're not going to the Miss Universe pageant this year. What are you, the new kid? You think I'm going to go back there with you after how badly you humiliated me last time? You know I don't like playing apples to apples. You made me plays anyways. I didn't win a single hand, and the next thing I know, you're sprawled out in a king-size bed with Miss Tennessee while I'm in the dang guest bathroom dropping a dang stinky, stupid fart knocker. It's through. Get over it. What Thank just you. happened? <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. George wants to away. fight Jet Li. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's do it. So Banana Man, once they hoist me up, direct them towards the prize you want. When you say drop, they will lower me. 
We got extra help. Let's do it. 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 Let's do it
cabin to glue. No one knows what will happen next. It all depends on you. Can't see round the corner when I'm going round the bend. No one knows what will happen or if this madness will ever end. Steak eater, Me but either. Uh, this is uh, this is really good. I like the way this is prepared. Is, is yours good? Yeah. You okay? Really? Oh, are you choking? Oh my! Oh my God! Uh, uh, hey, does anyone know the Heimlich maneuver? Uh, my girlfriend is. Yeah, I know how to do the Heimlich. Yeah, please, please, she's choking. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You... Oh my God! Oh my God! Let's get behind her. And just... Are you doing that? You're not doing it right, man. That's not. That's not no, how you do the Heimlich maneuver. This is how you do that. No, you're not doing it right. No, it's doing not it how you right, do the man. Maneuver. Back off. You're doing it wrong. No. You're doing Get it wrong. Don't touch me. Oh, no. Oh, God. Where am I? I'm afraid your time is up now. My time is... What does that mean? That means your life is over. Oh, no. I'm dead? Oh. If you could just step right this way, in a few moments, you're going to experience your life flashing before your eyes. Oh, I can't believe this. I was so young. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. I am not ready to be dead yet. Wow, this is really intense. This feels really real oh, I remember that oh, oh wow I guess I'm okay with it I mean I, I had a good life I don't have too many regrets and having trouble even remembering it all just seems like a big blur now alright uh, now if you will just step into the light okay uh, you will either burn to a crisp or live forever. I hope I live forever. One or the other. Oh, what can we do? You can be Napoleon and I'll be a Waterloo. We'll be back to fight again someday. Till then, we'll just be on our way. All right, the lone corn meal machine, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Send your suggestions to them. Tweet at them at Long Cornmeal. They will make videos out of your suggestions. In the studio, we saw a frozen image. Why don't, if you're watching online, please tweet at us. Let us know if all you can see is a frozen image of a clock. We'd love to know. This show thus far has been plagued by technical snafus. MC Chris is on his smartphone. It is a smartphone. I have another announcement. We're not doing that human crane thing anymore. All we accomplished was that. We couldn't shoot it well, and I just kept hitting my head. So we're going to move on. Everyone's really enjoying the show, Chris. Oh, really? That's yep. good. According okay. to my smartphone, yeah. OK, good. OK, that's great. Let's go ahead. Let's get back to the phones. Caller, you are on the air. Welcome to The Chris Gethard Show. How can we help you? Hello. Hi, who's this? Hi, my name is Krista. Hi, Krista. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, I just wanted to tell you about, like, the dangers of insomnia. Okay. One time when I was, like, I guess 14, my friend had to do this sleep study, or she had to, like, conduct a sleep study for high school. And uh, pretty much what you do is when the person starts to fall asleep and right when they're about to reach REM sleep, where you can tell because, like, their eyeballs kind of flutter under their eyelids, you okay. wake them up. And she did this to me for like two days straight at her country house. Okay. And um, essentially by at like five in the morning on the second night, I became really convinced that this like tiny pine tree shrub thing outside was like a burglar. Okay. So I found the largest stick I could find and I just started beating the crap out of it. So you stayed awake so long that you kicked the shit out of a tree. Yeah, but then what happened was her cousin, who was like 16, I guess he saw me like and heard me like beating the crap out of a tree outside. And he came outside to stop me, and I turned around and I hit him in the head with a stick. How big was this stick? And it was a pretty it. big stick. I mean, it was kind of, he, I knocked him over and he was bleeding a little bit, so I felt really bad about it the next day. What did you think he was? I don't know. I just was really became super, super paranoid. 
Wow. So that's those are the dangers of insomnia. That sounds like a Don't, very successful sleep study. Why did you Don't make tonight's insomnia. question about a medical disorder? These are obviously the kind of calls we're gonna get. That's what I, I, I that's a great call. A girl who beat the shit out of a tree. I think that's a good call. Well, I mean, normally I'm really like docile at night. <laughs> Don't wow. trust anyone that ever says that to you ever. I mean, I'm working on these stars right now, and that's pretty nice. Docile. Ken, how old are you now? I'm 21. Would you mind redoing that study while we go to that girl's apartment? We go to like Jackie's Jane's? house. <laughs> I mean, we'll keep you up. If you come to Jackie's house, will you manhandle her shrubbery for us? Oh yeah, totally. Awesome. I'm, I'm like professional now. You're we in. We manhandle all kinds of. Trees, shrubs, bushes. I mean, what was the conclusion of the study? Um, don't wake people up when they're trying to sleep. It's kind of like you or find somebody who's like, I guess, less passive aggressive. Chris, I got a question. Yeah. How did the other girl stay awake the entire time to keep waking you up while you were Great crying? question. Yeah, was, was your friend, would, would she sleep and you'd have to just sit there? And there she... was a second person slapping that <laughs> doctor awake. <laughs> Awake too, but they were. She was her and her friend, and I think they just like took shifts waking me up. How'd you find this stick so fast? <laughs> well, I was in the woods. You ran into the woods? Well, no, I was at her country house, so we were like in the woods already. Country house, huh? Yeah, I mean she's really rich. I'm not, but. Well, obviously you're doing sleep tests. <laughs> yeah. Well, Krista, thank you so much for the call. Anything else on your mind tonight? No, that's it. Thank you for calling in. We really appreciate your call. She sounds sleepy. Okay. There's definitely good. like an eerie tinge to all of these phone calls. Yeah, you know? tonight they're, all around. They're all on the border vibe. of going homicidal. You could oh, edit. Yeah. You could edit this episode into the ring. <laughs> you could <laughs> easily you watch the show. What's going on on this computer here? Nothing. Can we use this? We're getting tweets. Let's see. Oh, the girl who's come. We're going to her house. She's tweeting. It's Can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we saw okay. your social. <laughs> Got people trying to call in. Jackie, P Jackie Pitts, we're all going to her house. In the meantime, caller, uh, we have another caller on the line. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. What's on your mind tonight? Um, hi. Uh, this is Gio. How are you guys doing? Uh, this is... You have to turn down your TV if you don't mind. Um, it, it, it is down. I don't have anything playing right now. Okay, who's That's the... Howard Stern in the back. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What's on your mind? Hi, uh, well, I'm Dylan from San Diego, and first thing I'd just like to say I'm a really big fan of the show. Thank you. You said you're from San Diego, huh? Uh, big, big fan of Chris and uh, big fan of Human Fish. Big fan. Okay, that's great. Great to know. Human Fish has been having a rough couple weeks, so I think he really appreciates that. What do you think of me? Yeah, he, he, he's really awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Random Jean wants to know what you think of her. She's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, like that's the a total lie. You sound like, <laughs> sound like you enjoy the Human Fish more than Random Jean. Oh, and um, Pat Castles, I like your Avenger Bros t-shirt. Look at that. Thank you. All right, so anything else on your mind, or do you just want to fill us up with compliments? <laughs> yeah, I, I have a story about, like, sleep deprivation. Okay. So my friends and I, we, like, we wanted to spend last summer just kind of hanging out and stuff, so we stayed up for, like, three days straight, and in the middle of the night, we, like, got breadsticks, and we walked around their neighborhood at, like, three in the morning, and we found a tricycle in the dumpster, and wrote it down the hill and I got really hurt. That's awesome. I think that's a great call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. ranking our, you're now the official call ranker, Pat. I'm not, well, considering, I mean, you're trying to sound like you're like badass, but considering the last call, a girl went in, literally insane and beat her friend with a stick. And you were like, oh, we stayed up to 3 a.m. and then we ate breadsticks. <laughs> Straight up breadsticks. <laughs> And there's probably a reason that the tricycle was in the dumpster in the first place, so... Hey, guys, yeah. next summer, let's hang out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just lastly, I'd like to ask the human fish what's on his mind. Great question. Human fish, what's on your mind? Uh, cheese and bread <laughs> versus, uh... Salt and olive oil. <laughs> Cheese and bread versus <laughs> salt <laughs> and olive oil. Who oh, wins? He, enjoy he finds himself funny. <laughs> Who wins? Who wins? Salt and olive oil. Salt and olive oil. <laughs> really, George, yeah, you agree with that? Oh, definitely. I would go cheese and bread. You and fish la was laughing. <laughs> oh. I, I do feel like the human fish in Random Gene, there's like a, a brimming tension 
between them the past few weeks? Romance? I don't know. <laughs> Random Gene brought the human fish a gift. He rejected it. Oh, that hurts. I gave him, like, this really cute seal that I got from SeaWorld San Diego, actually. Well, now that I know you have a trust fund, you should have brought him a real seal. <laughs> <laughs> I give you Sea World. Yeah. <laughs> Shamu, rise! Now we have another caller on the line. Caller, welcome to the show. How can we help you tonight? Hey, man. Uh, I was actually uh, going to tell you my quick fix for resetting my sleep schedule. Okay, quick fix for resetting your sleep schedule. I'm listening. What's your name? My name is Ben. Ben, okay, hit us with it. What's that? Let's do it. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, so much, uh, so bad. All right, actually, um, I take uh, one milligram of melatonin before I go to sleep. Okay. And it's actually, uh, it's pretty good. This guy is a lot of fun. I thought it was going to be a lot better than that. Okay. So the way I you fix fill you in with how I reset my sleep schedule. It's a way that I take something everybody knows about. Whoa. Gather is, round, gather round, gather round. Ben, that, I mean, I want to thank you for the call. I want to stay positive, yeah, but that is a pretty kidding. well-known solution. <laughs> Who's your melatonin guy? Yeah, yeah. I, I highly recommend it, but you can get... <laughs> He's just only hearing what he wants to hear right yeah. now. Ben, you are in denial about how this went tonight, aren't you? I'm actually, I'm on, like, so much of it right now. <laughs> All right, Ben, thank you for the call. Have a great night, man. Have a great night, dude. Yo, what's up, Chris? Just calling you. I'm on 100 milligrams of melatonin, all stuffed up. Great show tonight, Chris. Good job on the human fish. Peace out. All right, let's move on to our next caller. Ben, thank you so much, man. Do we have another caller on the line? Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. Yo, son. Oh, shit. Oh. Wow, they right. You got a pause, Sean. Sean, people recognize you, man. Hey, Chris, I, I got to be honest. What's up? I'm not smoking weed, son. <laughs> Tonight or you quit? You kicked it in general? Right, right now. I ran out of weed, son. This is our friend, Sean. He often calls up and just tells us to smoke weed. <laughs> I thought it was your dad. So you ran out of weed. Sean, you ran Yo. out of weed. So what hey, do you do? Hey, MC Chris. Hey, what's hey, up? Secret. What's up? You got a real high voice. Oh, what the f <laughs> No! <laughs> but, uh... No, wait. Hey, I want to tell you guys about my sleep... How to get back on my sleep schedule. Okay, we are listening, Sean. All right. Normally, I'll just smoke some weed, <laughs> I could have guessed it. I, I don't have any weed! All right. Are you outside? All right, so I'll call you back next week. All right. Thanks, oh. man. Feel better. This is the weirdest. Out of all ten weeks, this is number one weirdest show. Well, the right? topic is sleep deprivation, and it feels like we are all. This feels like we're all sleep deprived. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, cool. So MC, Chris left his iPhone. Human fish, you should take it. <laughs> <laughs> Caller, you are on the air. We have another caller. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. How can we help you tonight? Hey, we will really mess up your ski sleep schedule with this thing called uh, night terrors. So I was with my friend in a hotel room. He walks in late at night. I didn't hear him coming in. I get out of my bed, yelled down, just burst right out of the door, screaming, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. He has no idea what's going on. And I just run out. And I stop right in front of the elevator. I lay down on the ground. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? You don't remember anything with night terrors, actually. Cool, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Connor. Connor, I, so you, you were physically awake but still sleeping and ran into a hallway and laid down? Well, what happens with night terrors is you can actually get up and run. And like... <laughs> If someone actually, with me, if someone actually tries to stop you, they will. But I just stopped and laid down. Like, not lay down like, oh, I'm just going to lay down. No, like, fall down. Wow. I understood George's Jet Li thing more than that. No, this ha like, there's a condition where you can get up, walk around, but still be sleeping. People get killed. 
People will, have, people will wake up and start having sex with people in beds with them while they're all still sound asleep. This is a thing that happens. This guy's no liar. That sounds like something that like, husbands would tell their wives if they got caught in bed with them. That's true. That is true. Like, oh, yeah, I was asleep. Does this still happen Some to you? Some horny sleep doctors got together like, I have an idea. Yeah. Does this still happen to you? Actually, no. If you keep on a good, no, if you keep on a good sleep schedule, it doesn't. Do me a favor. Mess up your sleep schedule and come to Jackie's with us. <laughs> You're invited. Connor, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Florida. Shit, man, buy a ticket. We're going to White Plains, bro. <laughs> All right, do we have time for another call or are we moving on? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, he, he has been, you saw him before at the mic. He came up here and I think it's fair to say, threw down on the panel. Let's get up one more time. Let's give it up. For the one, the only, MC Chris! Oh my god, I'm returned! Thank you for that applause, it's so nice of you. Yo, it's really funny when Chris was introducing me because he started to smile a little bit and every time we used to do improv scenes together, we do improvisation together, and every time we do little improv scenes back in the day, he could not smile, just like that, it brought me back. We used to have good times. Yo, and that last guy, Connor, who called in, he said he wanted to talk about his sleep schedule, but then he mixed up the how you say it, he said skeet schedule. <laughs> I want a skeet schedule. All right, let's do this song. This song is about Boba Fett, he's from Star Wars, that's Rome in space, in case you didn't know what that was. Um, if you don't know the words to this, where you've been the past 10 years. Okay, hit it! Cruising mode with Seth Spock, you're Mandalorian. I'm a war, I'm a piece of Mandalorian. My story is dumb, Star Wars historian. He's in the bed, but we play at Benigan's. Rhyme Renegade, should have penetrated first and second defense. I won't hesitate, just gotta do and Dark still gotta delegate. Just something that gets a couple cups of money, really hates. I don't give a fuck. I'm in a solo, for all I care. You could be Hollywood.
Does that mean four minutes left? All right, we have time for another caller too then, right? Let's do it. Caller, you are on the line. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. What's on your mind? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. You got through. What's up? Hey, this is Peter. Um, I think Random Gene has been on fire this episode. Wow! Thank you! Amazing last episode. Everybody always asks the human official what's on his mind. I want to know what's on Random Gene's mind. Wow! Um, wow! Random team, what's on your mind? MC Chris versus Chris Gethard. Oh. MC Chris versus Chris Gethard. Random team. Random team, who wins? MC Chris. Oh. 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 Oh.